Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Edge channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. The duel between the two most popular and successful British heavyweights Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua still promises to become a large-scale sporting event and may take place in the future, believes American supervisor Fury Bob Arum. WBC champion Fury offered Joshua to fight in December of this year. WBC champion Tyson Fury offered Joshua to fight in December 2022, and representatives of the boxers negotiated, which eventually ended in nothing. And Fury, without too much noise in the press and social networks, agreed on a fight against Derek Chisora and said that he would never offer a fight to Joshua again. So Tyson is really annoyed with Joshua and says he won't boxing with him, but we will see. The fight between Joshua and Fury in the future may become a large-scale event in the United Kingdom. We will have to think more, Aaron said in an interview. But one fight at a time. Right now, the only heavyweight fight I want to organize is Tyson's fight for the title of Absolute, Aaron added. Former world heavyweight champion American Dante Wilder is ready to give up a WBC sanctioned fight against Mexican Andy Ruiz for a fight with Britain Anthony Joshua. This was announced by the fighter's manager Shelly Finkel. Dante is ready to fight Anthony Joshua in the next fight. We would have a meet him in the United Kingdom or the Middle East. We are ready to fight him next. We have a WBC eliminator and we will do it. But we want to fight Anthony Joshua. Eddie Hearn contacted us in August. But then we had a fight with Robert Hellenius. Then we replied that we would not talk to anyone until this fight was over. Eddie knew this, but still announced that he had contacted us. Now we are ready to talk to make a deal for the fight with Joshua. Then they want to fight Anthony next. Since 2017, we have been trying to organize this duel. Let's make a deal and have a fight. The fans want to see him, so why not? The manager said. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks for supporting me, guys. No defeat has ever hit AJ so hard. The first two losses in his career hit the pride of the British champion and a ball then at him. Subsequently, he drew conclusions and invariably added. As a result, AJ fell into a psychological pit. He realized that the ceiling of possibilities has been broken, and this is still not enough. In such cases, it is difficult to recover in a short time. And Joshua admitted that he needed a rest, although Tyson Fury lured him with a fat check for the beginning of December, huge stadiums and posters. AJ's behavior was strange at first. He and Eddie Hearn resorted to the tactic of silence. Of course, the proud Fury did not tolerate this for a long time and closed the negotiations. However, Joshua admitted what else forced him to withdraw from the negotiations. The fact is that his commercial partners and sponsors have been sidelined. All the conditions were dictated exclusively by Fury, although AJ also has a large fan base with no less financial opportunities. Where there is a place of popularity, there will be a place of responsibility and pressure. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.